How's it going, guys? I um, just thought I would make a quick video about G Portal settings and stuff that people were having a hard time with. I couldn't find many videos about this, um, so I thought I would shed some light on the subject and hopefully help at least one person out. That's my goal. So in Permissions tab, after you pay for your server, um, get it all set up, your slots and all that, uh, Permissions tab, this is where you're going to set admins. So people that's going to help you with the server that will have access on G Portal and help you with literally everything um so we're going to do is you're going to create an account on g portal they're going to give you a username it's got to be exactly as shown like capitals whatever um then add user and that's going to give them complete access to everything on g portal so let's go ahead and go up to backup so backup um this is we're going to restore backups uh pretty self-explanatory on this this part um but to create a backup you're just going to upload it um, and then you can revert back to this point in time if you're about to make a big server change and you don't like it um, You can revert this to save previous settings in case you mess something up Restarts um, Restarts is how often the server will regenerate itself. I do it every three hours um, So you can set your schedule daily. I do mine every three hours. So it'd be three Eastern Standard Time and then you, you know, type in description, server restart, save, and then you go daily, six, you know, however often. A lot of people do two to three times a day. I just like to keep the server running smooth as possible, especially since I have a higher pop server. Um, this keeps the lag down and gets rid of the loot that people leave laying around, cleans it all up, and helps tremendously. Auto update, um, just leave this on. There's an up, a game update, it automatically updates it. I mean, you can turn it off, but I really don't know really why it's an option, but it's there. Logs. This is where you will see everything, any admin or bot, which I will cover later in a different video, um, does. So you can see if there's admin abuse going on or anything or if you want to see a code you used but forgot what it was you can show it up here but you can see i have a lot of stuff from this dixie bot going on um you can go up to basic settings this is where it gets a little bit more difficult so now that we're in basic settings um your server name this is going to be what everyone finds you as mine's dixieland delight you can put whatever you want to put here besides the word official because the scum developers use word official and they don't like anyone copying it uh which i guess makes complete sense server password this is going to be if you want a small server you don't want any randoms to join and you want just people you tell the password to to join slots um in this part of it this is where you can set how many people you want in here um so if you have a day you don't want a lot of people and you don't want to deal with it you can bump it down to 10 or or less if you have a smaller server slot save game this is to back up this uh, saves every time a server resets. So, like I said previously, mine's every three hours. So, I'll have a three hour backup every time. Welcome message. First thing people see when they join no links can be put in here, but they can be put in on the bot that I'll be describing in a later video. Message of the day this is what people will see constantly, or if you don't really want to set one, you don't have to. But uh, you can put this and it will pop up. For me, it's every 15 minutes, 60 is an hour. This time to remain in game after leave game request. This is to combat combat logging and 45 seconds is what mine's set at. So if you get in a fight, someone logs out, they're still going to be there for 45 seconds. So if, if two people are fighting and one person knew they were going to die, they log out, their body will stay there for 45 seconds and that other person can still that killed them. Sentry spawning. Um, this is the mechs that show up at airfield and all of those places um i don't like them on a lot of server lag overpowered in my opinion so you're going to highlight it green to turn them off and then it's going to be gray to have them on this is the max allowed animals in the world so this is the maximum amount of animals at any point so it will never exceed 50 animals the birds this number goes in with this so if you have this set to 50 there will be no other animals. You have this set to 10. There's only going to be 40 other animals in the world. So like 40 deer or 40 bear or 10 bear, 30 deer. 
Max Cloud Jones in the world. This is the annoying thing that comes around whenever you're trying to fight somebody that hovers over you, makes a lot of noise, and puts a spotlight on you. You can put these in. I have it set to zero to not give away player positions and to reduce lag. This is the maximum amount of zombies in the world. So there will never be more than 64 zombies spawned in at any point. So the max allowed wild pawns in world, this is the max zombie spawned away from point of interest. So lighthouses and stuff like that. The max allowed exterior pawns in world is how many puppets are inside of POIs but outside of the buildings. And then this one is max allowed interior pawns in world. So this is inside of the POIs and inside of the buildings. So this number, none of these will ever exceed the max allowed zombies. Your culture. This is your language, uh, which is usually set up right when you buy the server. Max ping. I have it set to 255. So if someone exceeds 255 ping, they will automatically be kicked from the server. They can join right back. But this prevents people from lagging all over the place and making it people with lower ping impossible to kill them. Time between events, I have it set to one minute. So if I start up an MMA event, it would be a minute before I can start up a death match. Time between events max. Kind of a useless setting. Um, there can only be three minutes between each world event. So cargo, cargo drop fall delay. So this is when the notification at the top right of the screen pops up how long until this cargo drop starts falling. I have it said as soon as the notification pops up, it start, the cargo drop starts falling. The cargo drop fall duration. This is when it starts falling how long it takes to hit the ground. The self-destruct time. I have it set to 12 minutes. Hide kill notification. This is kill feed. Um, on to hide it, off to not hide it. Uh, allow claim killing. This is when you kill someone, when you go up to their body and claim their kill for extra coins if you have a bot set up, or uh, fame points. This is mainly for fame points in a non-bot standpoint. So this is your reserved player list. Um, so if you have a really popular server and there's uh, players you want to join, no matter what, you can put in their Steam IDs here and it will automatically let them join. It'll kick somebody else out and put them in. Uh, this also goes in with the admin access uh, that I talked about in permissions. If there's someone in game you wanted to be able to spawn stuff and do stuff as an admin, put in their Steam ID right here. And then if you want them to be able to build stuff without any materials, uh, have the option to put it in brackets, God mode, just like it shows. And they have complete access. This is your ban list. You can also do this through the game with the hashtag ban command. Um, you get their Steam ID, you put it here, and it bans them. Exclusive join list, just pretty much like the reserved player list. Um, not much of a difference. Simulation speed. Uh, most of this stuff here is pretty almost self-explanatory, but I'll go over it anyway. This is how fast you digest food and water. Uh, the higher the number, the faster it digests. Lower the number, the slower. So if I set it to three, I'll need water a lot more frequently. If I set it to one, I won't need water as frequently. Um, the regular spawner ex expiration time in hours. It's the time it takes to reset the regular spawners. After a reset, spawners will reevaluate itself and spawn new items. So this is how often Stuff replenishes. So there's a chest, you loot it, you have a screwdriver. An hour and a half later, that chest will restock itself with items. Um, so if someone has looted something in an hour and a half, it will, in this one, it will automatically put something new in there. It'll automatically replenish it and put new loot in. So this is the regular spawners, so nothing insane, just little like boxes somewhere. The higher the number, the better chance of better loot. So mine's extremely high loot server, so I have it set to eight times better loot than the original. And this is the better spawners, so like military boxes and stuff like that, same rules apply. The higher the number, the better the loot. 
Um, this is interior spawner, so uh, how often, again, can interior puppets spawn at said location, like a gas station? How long until they can spawn there again after they spawned? Same with this, just exterior. Um, if this is the mechs, uh, which I have disabled, so it doesn't really matter, but higher the number, the more damage it does, lower the number, the less. Same with the zombies, uh, increase or decrease. Um, human to human damage multiplier, uh, how much damage you do to another player. And then human to human throwing, how much damage you do uh, throwing like an axe at someone. The higher the number, the more damage. Human to human arm melee damage multiplier. This is how much you do by hitting, punching, kicking. Unarmed melee. I'm sorry, I was wrong. This is unarmed. This is how much fist kicking. And then this one is the axes and spears. Hitting him with it is how much damage it does. Uh, so this is set for bases. So if someone places down a, a cabin with a flag, if they don't touch it within 15 days or interact with it within 15 days, it will automatically be destroyed. You can change this to however you want. Sector respawn. So this is when you die, the map shows up. Uh, you can choose B1, A1, C2, wherever you want to spawn. Same with shelter. If you build a bed, it gives you the option to spawn at your bed. Uh, random location price. Uh, this is how much fame points it's required to spawn anywhere in the map. I always have it set to zero because we're not really getting anything for spawning at random because um, it's literally anywhere on the map. Sector location. This is spawning in b1 c1 wherever you want how much it costs and then shelter location this is spotting at their bed so all this here is um if someone's online in their squad how much does it modify it how much does it multiply it so if they had two people online in their squad and you had this set to one or two i'm sorry it would be 50 it would be 50 instead of 25 and it would continuously go up for however many people's online in their squad. And then if we go to random initial time, initial wait time for random respawn options becomes available. So this is like a cooldown. So how long does it take for them to be able to use the respawn, random respawn time? I have it set to zero again because there's no advantage to random respawning. Uh, sector, this is 15 seconds before they can choose another sector to spawn to. Shelter initial time, 30 seconds. That's when they can respawn at their bed. They have to wait 30 seconds. Um, and then this is how much longer they have to wait on top of this time each time they die. Um, let's see. Random cooldown reset multiplier. I have it still set at zero. All this is pretty much the same thing. Um... Commit suicide, this is how long they have to wait between each time they can commit suicide. So if you want to commit suicide 10 times in a row, set the thing up higher, and they have to wait longer to commit suicide. Uh, this is how long they have to wait after they do it. And then allow first person, you can allow third person. All this stuff here is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can limit squad members. If the higher intelligence they have, the more squad members they can have. I have it set all the same, but if you have level 5, you can have 20. You can set these however you want. Um, all these I would just leave at basic settings. Um, none of it really matters. This kind of all falls in with what's up above. Let's see, you can disable base building, uh, map base restrictions. So this is so they can't build in the city. They can't build against the big wall on the outside. This just helps keep the game fair where they actually have to use all their materials to build stuff. They can't get away with building three walls instead of four. Fame game multiplier. This is how easy fame is to get. So how much they get for killing a player, how much they get for crafting. Higher the number, the more they get. Coma, this is if you get too hot, you pass out. This is voting period for admin commands, so you can do hashtag vote in-game, and this will show 
uh, like switch to day, and this will be 60 seconds until that voting duration is up. Um, and this is how long it shows it. Uh, and then you know you can set your minimal consent percentage. So right now this is 40% of players have to vote for anything to pass. If it's set to 40.4, that's 40%. So if four, only 39% vote, then it's rejected. There there will be no outcome. Uh, this is how much time you get for every unlock failure on electrical doors. So I got 20, uh, quarter of a second every time they fail. Gold locks after damage. So this is for the kill box, how much damage they do. Lock protection. This is how much uh, damage they do for kill box or not kill boxes, but just base zappers. So the higher it goes, the more it does. You can allow mines or disable mines, and you can enable and disable locked loot containers and like bunkers and police stations. And this is how much stuff decays, like the usage percentage. So like on food, how fast it decays, how fast it goes bad. Um, that's what this one's for. I'm sorry. This one is for the weapons and stuff like that. This is your max bicycles, max tractors in the world, max SUVs, max wheelbarrows, max pickup trucks, quads. That's all at your discretion. Um, this is a fuel drain. So the lower you have it set, the less it will use. Same with all these settings. All these things. So the number one I like a lot is the max number of days vehicle in activity. So if no one's touched their vehicle, repaired it, got in it, started it, looked in the inventory for seven days, it will automatically get destroyed. This keeps the server down, lagged down a lot. Um, same here. This is all pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. This is how much gas is at gas stations and through how fast it replenishes. Water settings, this is all for how often wells will replenish, um, collectors will get. Uh, world settings, I haven't messed with this much. I would definitely recommend keeping this just the way it is because um, this could cause a lot of bugs in the game. Weather, it's, this is where you set day uh, and night settings. So I have the day starting at 8. And I have the time of day speed going to 3.84. So the higher this goes, the faster the day cycle, day and night cycles. Uh, nighttime darkness. So negative one is not very bright. I'm sorry, it's not very dark. Zero is medium darkness, and then one is extremely dark. Like you need MVGs, you can't do anything without them. I like it at zero. That kind of keeps it in the middle. Uh, sunrise time, this is what time the sun comes up. Sunset time, this is what time the sun starts to go down. It starts to get dark. Uh, hopefully I touched everything. Um, this is my first YouTube video in a long time. Uh, if you could leave suggestions down below, maybe like and subscribe. Or if you have any questions, just let me know. Appreciate you guys for watching.